I know that you don't like human store-made sardines, but I can't hunt for you like I used to without being able to shapeshift. I'm sorry, sibling. This is the best I can do while I'm sick. It's the cheapest option you can physically eat. Eat up. I know you don't want it, but it's the best I can offer. I hope it's enough. It's hard to find human money for better food with how long I assume we will be here. Rationing out money. Is that the right word? Whatever. It was hard enough finding a place this secluded to keep you anyway. I'm thankful humans have abandoned places like this. Allows things to hide that don't want to be seen. Is it bearable this time? I'm sorry, really. I would hunt for you if I could, but the human form isn't built well for ocean hunting. I don't know the tools they use very well. Even if I did, I'm still unsteady on my feet as well. No way I can hunt yet. I'll get better. It just takes time. We're in no rush. I just like this to be over sooner. You know? I've been trying to self diagnose what's wrong with me. It's not really working. All of my remedies have turned out just hurting me or not working at all. I can't seem to find a trusted human to help me with whatever this... this is. My inability to shapeshift anymore. <sighs> I wish I wouldn't have shapeshifted to human. But you know I just had to save you. I may regret shapeshifting into a human. Getting stuck like this. I don't regret why I did it. When I saw you get stuck in that human's net, watched you get dragged on the boat, I just needed to get you back. I would be heartbroken. And the others would too. Shifted into a human and bought you, claiming I was going to cook you. You know I would never, but it was an effective way to get you back. All I needed to do was sacrifice one of my human money stashes. And you were with me again. <laughs> now, I'm going through my last money stash. Now having to scrounge up any change I can find just to feed you gross sardines. I'm so sorry. I have to keep you in this little tub. Feeding you gross tasting food and with... Me leaving so often. I'm trying my best, sibling. You grabbing my hand to say it's okay. <sighs> Thank you. I I'll figure this out eventually. If I may, I'll explain why I keep feeding you. While I haven't been able to find any trusted humans, I've been able to find humans who only claim to understand the supernatural, which is what I am considered. Something close to a psychic is what I'm looking for. Maybe, just maybe, with one of their help, we can go back to the ocean with the others. Together. Like you want. I miss them. I'm sure you do too, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. We will get there together. Trust me. Just as you want us to. 
I may be a shapeshifter, but I'll always go back to my octopus roots with you. I won't be leaving you for a long time. Even if I'm stuck like this. Inhuman. I'll make an effort to see you every day. Swimming out to sea as often as I can. I can't... Stay, though. I can't stay in the water if I'm stuck like this. I don't want to drown. As much as I'd like to stay with you as much as possible. You know... With how long we've been gone. Coming up on... A week now, I think. It's likely the others have already gone off to live lives. They were getting ready to... Whenever... You were taken away. So, when we go back, we probably won't find them around the original clutch anymore. Once we go back in there, we will be alone. But we will be together. Alone, together. I can hunt for you again. But it will have to be only myself hunting now. I'm sure you don't mind. It'll runt. <laughs> I say that in a teasing tone. Obviously. I'll take care of you. Even when it's tough to do so. Like now. I plan on going to someone who can possibly help in the next two days. Telling them my... shape-shifting problem and seeing if maybe they know how to fix me. I've exhausted all I can think of, so anything someone else thinks of could be useful. <laughs> do you think... Do you think that I'll ever be able to go back with you? <laughs> I hope so. I want to go back to hunting for you. Sleeping under rocks and protecting you from the world. Right now, it's too easy. Just you in a tub in an abandoned home. Is it boring when I leave? You've got nothing but darkness to look at when I go. Are you okay with that? You're so understanding. Even when I feel horrible. For what I have to do to keep you alive. I just barely match the bare minimum you need to live. <laughs> hey. If it ever gets too hard. Please. Please tell me. I'll put you in the ocean. And you can live under the rocks. Under the pier while I figure stuff out. Maybe practice hunting on your own for a bit. Just a bit, though. Don't get too good at it, or you won't need me. <laughs> and seriously, though. If this tub isn't enough, the ocean is always an option. You can come up at feeding time and pressure me to learn ocean hunting in a human body. It won't be a problem... If it's what you want any time in the future. <laughs> That's the last of it. Is that enough? Looks like you're okay. Ugh. I'm going to go look for money. I'll be back with more food. Next time I come, I'll leave and go to someone who may help. Alright? Try to speed up getting back home. I love you, sibling. Thank you for being so patient. So understanding of the situation. See you in a bit. Hey guys, Gratch here. Um, this audio is one of my more creative ideas. 
Uh, I saw the thumbnail for this whenever I was on Pinterest, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make something with that. And I did. I see this audio having potential for a part two. Um, and maybe a part three, but I, I don't know about that one. Uh, but if you want to see a part two of this, that is in the realm of possibilities. Because, like, eh, I'm sure you guys understand what the part two would probably be. Um, but, yeah. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I love interactive comments, and you made it this far, so why not subscribe? Join the Patreon and the Discord, and yeah. Bye-bye.